All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a um, internal trach suctioning. Now, if you're going to do like an oral suctioning or a nasal suctioning, you can still kind of follow this procedure a little bit. Uh, make sure that you also look at your policy procedure, as I always say, um, and look at your course checklist to make sure that you follow all of those guidelines. This is just for a little reference. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and open up. I've got my sterile saline here. Make sure that it's nice and sterile. I'm gonna loosen up the cap gonna open up my kit we're gonna go down into the lung so it needs to be sterile so I always tell everyone open sterile kits as if they're an alligator so you want to open them away from you all right inside is my sterile gloves I know these ones should fit me just fine so since I know that they should fit me fine I'm gonna go ahead and use these ones if you don't like them you can get your own pair so right now we're hyper oxygenating our patient I'm gonna open up my gloves, put them on sterilely. I'm just gonna go ahead and slide them on. Just make sure you check out that video on sterile gloving if you have any questions on how to do this procedure properly. It goes a little bit slower in the video. Okay, so I've got my sterile gloves on. I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of my way. Okay, I'm gonna reach into my kit. Remember, I can reach into my kit now that everything's sterile. If I wanna open this up, I can do so. I'm gonna drop this. Remember, you want if you drop anything, it has to be six inches above. I'm gonna open this again. We're gonna drop it out of the way. Okay. I think how I want this guy. All right. So you should already have suction hooked up for your patient because they have a trach. I've reached in. I'm still sterile. So I always like to kind of loosen up my tubing a little bit, make it a little more pliable. Okay. After I've done that. I want to go ahead and coil this up in my hand. That way I don't have um, tubing just kind of hanging around. So when I already have my suction, I will hook this up to my suction. So this is hooked up to suction. Okay. We are going to remove the hyperoxygenation. And we've poured a little of our water into the tray. And since I have removed that, this left hand is no longer um, sterile. So I'm gonna hold my tubing. Remember, it's hooked up to suction. And I can go ahead and start feeding this into the patient's trach. This can start causing the patient to cough. Okay, so once we get in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see this little green thing right here, there's that hole. You're going to pulse it. This is what I mean by pulsing as you pull it out and kind of do a little swirl. Okay. What you can do then is actually dip this in your saline and kind of suck up some of the water. And that is going to help clear out your tubing. You can do another pass if you need to. Go ahead. You just put it down with your thumb completely away from the pulsing and then when you pull it out you pulse never keep your thumb flat on it all right and again you can suck it up if you need to i would only do a few passes um, your patient's going to be coughing you may have to put that oxygen back on them um, use a new kit for every time you suction and this guy right here once we're done i'm going to go ahead and put his oxygen back on <laughs> 